All right, what's going on guys, it's Brooks. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make that filter based kind of bad face style synth inside of Vital and inside of Maelstrom. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Vital. We'll uh, pull in the wavetable that we need. I'll, uh, I'll be leaving a link to this in the Discord. So we have this, it's just a sweeping square from Maelstrom. And what we're gonna to need to do is make an LFO shape. So just kind of like this, one over four, and then we'll drag the LFO onto the level. And uh, we'll have that, and then we'll just go ahead and pull it down two octaves, or minus 24. Now we kind of have like a cool sound, but we're going to need a second LFO. So I'm just going to create this ramp right here, and I'm going to put it on the frame. And this is what's going to give us that like yoy kind of sound. I got to put it on one over four. Now we're kind of getting there. We will put distortion on here, and we're going to switch over to down sample. And then this will be pretty much the same thing as using the Scream 4, which we'll go over in a uh, reason when we get to it. This gives it like a cool digital tonality. And that's almost already there. It's a very easy synth to make, but we'll go ahead and throw it on a synth channel. And I have an EQ. Just getting rid of the low end because um, we're going to put a sub underneath it. But let's go ahead and bring the volume down on it and we'll put an OTT on here. I'm just going to bring the down wind and the up wind all the way down and just make sure that your volume slider is turned significantly down because it's going to really boost the volume. And then we can kind of bring it back up. And now it just feels like a little bit more crispy and saturated. What I like to do is use a delay. So we can use the FL Studio delay. But you can kind of play with your own parameters and find different stuff like uh, this second knob right here on the time works really well too. Or even the first one. Maybe bring the cut down. And then we can kind of mess with the frame. And that's how you're going to get a lot of different variations. Messing with the drive on here and the frame on here, you can get a couple different variations. And that's with all free plugins. But if you have reason, we can add reason to this and use the reason delay instead and put a chorus flanger on here which can sound really cool as well so let's go ahead and do that so yeah i have the reason rack plugin effect pulled up and we'll throw a chorus flanger on here let's go ahead and put it on sync we'll bring the mod amount down like really low like eight and then i want to put it on two over four so that it just kind of gives it like a cool little uh movement with the delay this is where you're going to get like different tonalities so we'll play with that but the feedback i'll tend to bring down like minus 30 ish and so yeah once you mess with the delay you'll have like a bunch of different uh tonality changes so yeah, you just kind of got to play with it and see where you like it. If you want to get rid of the movement, you can just bring the mod amount down. Or you can bring it up. Get some like really interesting kind of sounds with that. One over four sounds good too sometimes. I like that a lot. And then we can go ahead and add a delay on here as well. I usually like to bring it down to around 90 sounds good, 115 sounds good. There's a few like 145 I think sounds good. And it's just different timings for the uh, for the delay. But I bring the feedback down quite a bit and then the dry wet balance down quite a bit. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it for Vital. If you want the wavetable that we used, it's in my Discord. You can grab it in the description just below the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get into Reason and I'll show you how to make it in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Reason. 
uh, Reason Rack plugin. And then we're actually gonna delete the OTT as well. Now we will add a utility combinator. Let's grab the Maelstrom and we're just going to reset the device. Let's start by moving this up to curve 20. We're gonna put it on sync, add the volume all the way up, uh, motion all the way down, and then we're just gonna put this rate at one over four. Then we're going to grab our sweeping square, bring the octave down two. This index is kind of act, gonna act as the frame. So we're just gonna have to find the right tonality within this. It's gonna be really quiet at first. but we'll mess with it later and find the right tonality. For now, let's try this uh, curve 10, and then we will also put this on sync and one over four, and then let's just bring the index all the way up. Now we're kind of getting that like vowel -y, filter bassy kind of sound, but what really brings it out is the Scream 4 distortion. So we're just gonna bring this to digital. We're gonna bring the damage control down a bit, parameter one all the way up, and then parameter two is what's gonna give us that digital effect. So let's actually move the low end down a bit and the mid up a bit. And then I like type E most of the time. So we'll try this. And you can hear as you bring this back, it kind of gets more vowel-y and more downsampled. Let's go ahead and put this on 16, which is our synth bus that has the low cut on it. And so now that is kind of the base part of the synth. So then we can start to add the effects like the chorus flanger. Let's go ahead and bring the feedback down, delay up, rate two over four, and then the mod amount very far down. Or you can bring it all the way down. One over four can sound good too. We can also mess with the shift right here. And the pitch a bit. And you can mess with the index as well. And then we can put these on one shot as well. Just play the notes one at a time like this. And you can get some cool tonalities like that. Next up, we can add a digital delay, put this on one, bring the feedback down and the dry wet balance down. Or you can put it on MS, which is just millisecond delay time. And we'll do like 110 which is pretty similar, or you can go up to like 140, have it kind of be more like a eighth note timing, or even 90, I think is like another one that sounds pretty good. So we can get some cool tonalities and, and variations by just messing with a couple parameters. And then another fun thing to do is add filters. So you can add like a comb filter, bring the resonance up a little bit, and then bring the frequency down. Kind of get a different sound out of it that way. And then a lot of the time, I think that the sound of the parameter two being modulated sounds really nice. So sometimes I'll create an automation clip on this and just have it pull back slightly at the start of each phrase. So it'll be like. It's kind of cool, just gives it some movement. Um, another thing you can do is instead of the chorus flanger, we can add a phaser, which can sound kind of cool as well. You just kind of mess around with the parameters in here. Um, a lot of the time, like 40 to 50 or even like 30 to 50 on the frequency can sound kind of cool. And then you just use the split to like kind of offset it and um, you'll get some cool tonalities like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it with that style of sound. There's like a lot of different variations you can do. You can like set this to a different rate. And get some cool tonalities that way. 
but yeah that's gonna do it appreciate you guys for watching once again if you want to grab the wavetable for vital it's gonna be down in the description in my discord and uh thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one peace